Well, congratulations. You made it through your first semester of college. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, I'm just going to take Christmas break off and enjoy my time at home. But I have a little bit of advice for you that you may find valuable. I think you should do some career research on your break. I think you should talk to your pep leader because many of them share the same major as you or have a, something, have a major that's similar to yours. And you can discuss grad school options or career options if you don't want to go to grad school. And by talking to your pep leader in advance, you can prepare now for a career that you want later, whether it's grad school or if you want to go straight into the workforce. It's going to be very helpful for you to plan now so you can have everything ready for the future. Hey Christy, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good, how about you? Pretty good, ready for Christmas break? I'm so ready, so tired, just want to sleep just for a little bit and then start working of course. Very nice, I know I plan on sleeping a lot too, also working. Do you think about doing anything for school during Christmas? Uh, I haven't planned on it, should I? Um, you actually should, you start, should start thinking about if you want to go off to law school, med school, vet school, or any graduate school. Kind of see what um, test you have to take, also start studying and preparing for them. You can also look into doing internships. Internships are a great way to get involved and make sure that that's what you want to do for your career. Um, internships also, you get out college credit for them, um, depending on what internship it is. I know next semester I'll be doing an internship in Nashville with a capital and nice. that'll be 12 hours of college credit, which is really 12 hours of A's. So it's also a good GPA booster. It is. I never knew that at all. I've never heard of that from anybody. Mm -hmm. They're very nice, very good. Also, it sets you apart from um, other applicants. It, say if you want to do law school, that's a thing that right there sets you apart from everyone else. That is a really good idea. I never really thought about doing school stuff over the Christmas break, but I mean, a little bit here and there wouldn't hurt me any. Mm -hmm. You should also um, maybe read a book, write a couple papers, do some research. Just make sure that you get involved and know what's going over, on over Christmas break so that when you come back next semester, you're not going to be having the first four weeks to get reacquainted to what school's like and doing different things mm. like that. That sounds like a great idea. Thank you. Well, have a good Christmas. Hope to get a good Christmas present. Um, other Thanks. than that, have a good day. Hope you do too. Hey Skyhawks, it's Amber, one of your senior biology pep leaders here at Martin. And I just wanted to talk to you today about some of the different resources here that we offer on our campus to help you with your finals during this last week. One of the great things, I'm actually here in the math lab right now, and they're great for helping you with your math problems that you don't understand, maybe some of the things you didn't understand in class. They have great personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, which I find helps me the most because maybe they understand the concept that you don't and they can teach you and it makes so much sense. I know I've had professors in the past that I haven't always understand what they're saying in class, but I can go to somebody else and they can explain it to me and I immediately get it. So I think the math lab is great for doing that for you. Another one of the things that's offered here at Humanities Building is the Writing Lab. The Writing Lab's great for if you're needing help on how to become a better writer. They have, offer roundtable discussions and personalized workshops. That They'll even help you with some of your editing skills. So if you can bring in a paper and they'll look it over and you know, show you how maybe to better <laughs> phrase a sentence or maybe if you've got a run-on sentence they can show you how to break it up to make it more cohesive and better for your paper. And finally, we also have supplemental instructions here on campus, which most of you probably know what a supplemental instructor is. You probably have had one in maybe one of your classes, but they're there. They're usually an older student that has taken the class before, they've passed the class, and they've come back, and they're there to, they're basically taking the class again, but they're there for you. They're there to offer you, they usually have study hours, or not study hours, but they have office hours set up where you can go and get handouts or they'll help you understand concepts that maybe you didn't get in class. They're great for just general knowledge. You know, they've had the class before obviously so they know maybe how that teacher is going to write a test or they can help you, you know, focus more on certain areas. Maybe you're focusing on generalized concepts and they can help you get onto the more specialized things that the teacher is going to ask you for. And lastly, I just wanted to offer some of my own general study tips and finals tips since I know finals week is going to be one of the craziest weeks of your life, especially as a freshman. But I would definitely say stay well. Try not to get sick. It doesn't help to get sick. Make sure you know you're sleeping regularly. I know it's easy to pump the energy drinks in and just say, oh, I'll sleep when I get through with this. It doesn't help you. It's actually been proven that sleeping, lack of sleep, 
actually makes you do worse on a test. So try and get your regular sleep in and definitely try and eat well. I know it's easy to just go grab some fast food, but if you try and stay and maintain a healthy lifestyle while you're taking your finals, you'll definitely do a lot better on them. And I know for me personally, try and put your phone away while you're studying. I know it's so tempting just to leave it there on the side and, oh, I won't check it. But more often than not, you're checking your phone when you're not supposed to be. So put it away where you can't see it and you can't hear it. Study for, you know, an hour or so and then reward yourself for studying for that long with your, you know, checking Facebook out or Twitter updates. And that's basically all I have for you this week. Um, good luck on your finals and have a great week. Thanks. Hi, I'm Hannah Golden. And I'm Trevor Spann, and we're with the Second Year Leaders in Residence program. We just wanted to thank all of you for coming out to college night at We Care Ministries. And donating to the toy drive. We receive toys like teddy bears, a bicycle, curling irons, and other things like that. Thank you so much. You're going to make somebody's Christmas extremely special. Merry Christmas. Hi Peppers, my name is Kiara Champion. I am a pep leader for Pep Group 12, and I'm going to tell you today about some budget-friendly Christmas gifts. Now we all know that we're in college and we don't always have the best of funds. It's getting close to December, that refund check is gone. So now, what are you going to get your family? Well, here are three ideas for those of you who need to be budget friendly. The first one is you can decorate a Sprite bottle. You know, the 10 ounces are going to go on sale, 16 ounces are going to go on sale. You know, you can get them really cheap. So you can decorate a Sprite bottle that looks like Santa and put on a nice little tag that says, May your days be merry and Sprite. <gasps> So cute, it's gonna be adorable. Your family is just gonna love it. The next thing that you can do is you can decorate a coffee mug. And it's like, oh, okay, you know, my mom has 50 million of those. Okay, but does your mom have one that you wrote on? I bet she doesn't. So get creative, buy some, get some different colors, Sharpies, blue, green, red, green, all that right on a coffee mug and then you bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees and voila, you have yourself a budget friendly, Christmas gift, oh, awesome. Now, the really tough one, guys, what are you gonna get your girlfriend? You know you gotta do well, you know it speaks volume. So, why not make her a scarf? They're in style, it's gonna look great. Take an old shirt, one that doesn't smell or anything, you know, it could be yours, could be one of hers, old ones, ask first. Cut off the sleeves and everything, and then you're going to slice it at the bottom, and then you're gonna pull it, and then you can wear it. <gasps> Cheap, budget-friendly gift number three. <gasps> Just wonderful. So definitely check out these websites. Um, if you need other ideas, check out Google, Pinterest, lots of really good budget-friendly ideas. What else? Some corn. Some corn. What else? Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Teresa in the calf shooting our very last video. I'm kind of sad about it. But fear not, we've got one last hurrah. We're gonna be having our moonlight breakfast, and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. How's your cereal? It's good, thanks. It's good, great. Let's talk about moonlight breakfast. It's on December 11th at 9.30, and guess what? Even if you've already used your meals that week, you have an extra meal, call it a bonus meal, so come out anyway. If you have a meal plan, don't forget, come, you have to come, it's great. Now, there's a plus to that. All your professors, teachers, advisors will be there and they'll be serving you food in fancy silverware and fancy cups and you're gonna enjoy it. Who doesn't want their teachers serving them eggs at night? Now, like I said, this is our very last video and I'm really, really sad about it. So, before I start crying, I'm gonna give out my last round of shout outs. Amy, Drew, Kate, Victoria, Kevin, Megan, and Nicole. And I'd like to give a special thanks to the girls softball team who let me sit with them tonight. Now, even though this is the end, it doesn't mean the end for you. Like go on, go out there into that freshman world. Well now you're not actually freshmen. Go out into the real world and be official college students. And as I always say, well, I bid you adieu.